Hey, Big Nepsy, what's that giant broken share crystal all the way over there? That's the crystallization of the share energy that was stored within Uzume's body when she was sealed away. You guys probably don't know, but all the share crystals scattered around the world are shards of this thing. Crosty? Yo, what's up? I see. That's why they were scattered in so many places. That's why Uzume never died. Even though the world forgot her, she still had all the share energy to draw from. Then, if we use that thing right... If you're here, Krosty, I bet you were sent to get in our way! Bingo! But man, she's a real slave driver. Even though I'm fine just with recording history, she really pushes me around. If she's so frickin' worried about this thing, then she should just stay here and protect it herself. Don't you guys think so too? Krosty, you can't keep doing this. Stop helping Kurame and Kokuboshi. Both dimensions are gonna be destroyed. Even if you tell me that now. You've read me, so you know too, right? You know how many beginning and ends of worlds I've recorded up until now. Also, I don't have a damn clue about what's going on because you put me in that stupid little specimen book of yours. Of course I did. It'd be fine if you were just recording history, but it's absolutely wrong to muck it up just to make things interesting. Now that I know that, I really can't let you out. Why, you... You were always saying my ability and dimension hopping was too fun to let me go, but that's how you really feel, isn't it? Uh, th th that's not true at all. <laughs> You're way too frickin' obvious. Now that I think about it, you sealing me away and sabotaging Gaffymax? You were just pretending to be a ditz about it! What? what could you possibly be talking about? Damn it all! You're playing the part of the clown this whole time! I can't believe you! You hadn't caught on? She's happy-go-lucky and always spouts nonsensical meta-jokes, but Neptune's always... Hold it! Ugh. Pipe down! We're not even talking to you! Why are you yelling over there like an asshole? I'm the protagonist of this game, and we're fairly close to the climax, aren't we? But then, why is the bigger me standing out more than I am? Hasn't my narrative been super weak since being in Heart Dimension? I got beat, captured even though I was in next form. I've barely had screen time. And just when I got saved and the party split, I thought I was the main of the story. Nope, it's all about Uzume and bigger me. This is protagonist fraud at this point. I'll take this to court, I'll sue, and I'll win. Calm down, Nip. You were the protagonist for the hyper-dimension part of the story. She's right. Since you're the protagonist, you should be as tolerant as a goddess, or at least a mother. But even though I'm the protag and face of this series, I get the cold shoulder in terms of face time and ability. And, and, and... It seems Nepsy might fall again. I don't have the confidence to pull her out of the whirlpool of delusion this time. Ah, freaking damn it! What the hell is wrong with all of you? The point is, I finally have a chance to record some interest in history. I'm not gonna let you assholes get in the way. Come, Dark White! A dark CPU now is nothing. No matter how much you power him up, we have the sharing field. That's right. We don't have to fear this thing when Uzume's with us. Indeed. Hmm? Wait. Hmm? What's wrong, Vert? Oh, it's just that dark CPU. For some reason, it seems to have a smaller chest than the one created from my power. What? Is it possibly because Blonde's power was used as a base? To think she'd be copied even there. <laughs> but it's bigger than Blonde's. They seem to have added some shape and volume. Blonde's is just as flat as a plank. And it'd look pretty stick thin if it were just as flat, too. So maybe they gave it more volume. 
Or possibly, Kurame felt pity for Blonde's pathetic state and has shown some mercy towards her dark CPU minions. Ah! I won't be made a fool of, you bastards! That Kurame asshole, too! I'm getting pissed off just looking at it! Uzume, the sharing field! Hurry it up! R right Blonzie's scary. What'd you say? Ooh, nothing. Sh shaving fields activate. She's so scared she's completely fumbling her words. Well, that's the normal response when you're not used to um blonde. Oh, this is just a sad sight, Lon. No frickin' way. How could the dark CPU be defeated so easily? Gotcha! Mom! Krar has been defeated. No, stop! Let me out! Let me out, damn it! Now then, there are no more obstacles in our way. Shall we try purifying this area? That may be good. We've gotten pretty deep inside. It should be effective. Then, from here on, leave everything to the original main character. Lend me your powers, everyone. Right! Of course! Indeed. Vert, Blonde, Noir, send all the share energy you possess to me. Everyone else, pray. Huh? Nothing's happening? It's no use. I felt some reaction. But our share energy was quickly countered, then erased by all of this negative energy. Oh, that totally sucks! It's too early to be discouraged. It was shown to have some effect after all. We must overcome this lack of energy issue next. Then perhaps it's best to meet up with Nepgear's group and revise our plan. <laughs> <laughs>